God can be worshipped anywhere on earth. That statement by Imam Taha Hassan could probably be agreed to by just about every religious leader on the planet. But of course, when you're talking about organized religion, it's not quite that simple. Hassan leads San Diego's largest Muslim congregation here at the Islamic Center of San Diego in Claremont. At the very beginning, we had no idea about what's going on and how we should operate. What Hassan did know back then was the mosque portion of the Islamic Center, this prayer hall, could not be used. That meant, for the time being, coming to terms with a different approach. So my home should become my house of worship with my family members. Whatever I used to do in the mosque, now I do it at home. But most Muslims don't have an imam under their roof, so like countless other members of the clergy, Hassan had to figure out how to take things online with some help. Thank God we have smart people in the community, uh, young people who are into this technology, and in a matter of a few days, highly came together about and they installed all this system, the online system, so we broadcast live on YouTube channel, our YouTube channel, uh, live on Facebook. But there was still some in-person worship. When the pandemic hit, the Islamic Center, like many churches and synagogues throughout the county that have appropriate outdoor space, moved their services outdoors. And then, more than three weeks ago, when we moved into the purple tier, the center once again moved their services outdoors here to their playground. If places of worship are allowed to once again have a limited number of people inside before the pandemic ends, the Islamic Center is ready. You can see the tape marking on the floor from when they were allowed to have a handful of worshipers inside prior to the county moving into the purple tier. But now, with vaccines expected to be distributed soon, Hassan is looking to the future when his entire congregation can once again fill this hallowed space. But even then, things will never be the same. Lessons have been learned, and Hassan says that's a good thing. We as clergy, as uh, faith leaders, we should not just stay in our comfort zone, in our house of worship, in our offices, and wait for people to come to us. We need to learn how to reach them out wherever they are. In the midst of the unimaginable tragedy of this pandemic, the unspeakable grief suffered by so many, it's reassuring to think that the re-examination of things once taken for granted has meant they are now cherished, leading to a sense of hope for the world waiting on the other side. John Carroll, KPBS News.